This is a public service announcement. What are we talking about? Valentine's Day is coming up, and ladies, I need y'all to know that pussy alone is not a gift. I ain't looking for no handouts to say no. Always stack high, stay low. Trying to level up, better get with us. Gotta keep it real, cause you know it's about to get real uncomfortable. Yeah, real and uncomfortable. It's about to get real uncomfortable. Yeah, real and uncomfortable. That's a fact. Like, there's, there's one thing that, once again, I'm not speaking from personal experience, just from conversations with other guys. A lot of women feel like, you know, for special occasions, birthdays and and Valentine's and all of Christmas, that, Christmas, right. that that guys just want sex, and it's like that's not the case. Like, I mean, be perfectly you know what I mean? honest. I'll take it deeper. I think that's a big flaw in a lot of relationships. As it is, is that the the idea that men are content with just that can be a little bit more complex than that, you know. And when it comes to something like Valentine's Day, like any holiday, if your man is giving you effort. Because, again, Valentine's Day is about a proclamation of love. It's about mm-hmm. romance. It's about experiencing that moment with your significant other. If they're giving it, you should give it too. Key word, reciprocation. I hate not being able to disagree with him, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, ha- ha- have you ever given a man just... Just the box? Yeah, just that for, for a birthday, Valentine's, or just like, here you not go. Not without an IOU. Not without a... Okay, listen, so you went and knew, it, like... I don't have it right now, but what I did do was, ta-da, and it's some special lingerie, something nice going on. Oh, so okay. how, but how would you feel if a man did that? Right, I just wrapped, it, a, wrapped just, a bow around it I'm real just quick. Slang it you real know what I'm saying? Slang some... Any genuine relationship, anything that's real, that you really love the person, mm-hmm. that's not a problem. You understand when somebody falls on hard times just like they should understand when you do. That's big facts. It, big it facts. Can't, it can't be a like, oh, you didn't get me nothing for this day. Absolutely not. But what I will say, here's something that might be controversial. Mm. If you buy me something that you know damn well does not, it's not good for me. It's not something that I like. It's not something that's me. You just brought it just to buy it. Like At Walgreens? Yeah, yeah. Walgreens, hey. All then I'm Yo, Target, Target has the gifts, though. And it doesn't even... It could be something from Walgreens. It could be something from Michael's, like art supplies, because I'm an artist. I like But art that... No, no, no. See, that's but different, though. But if you though. buy something that is just... Completely unrelated. Bill, like, oh... Generic? Fa- yeah, face masks from, like, from Marshalls or wherever, like, these, you know... Okay, my nigga, hold then on. I'm be like... Who's doing that? I need, I need to have a talk with you, my nigga. Whoever it was... That decided that basic like that nigga should have just like bought you band aids. Wait, or hold, some on, shit. hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, I, 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 I was about to say, wait, put him. I'm not gonna say put him on blast, but just break that because I feel like it yeah, yeah. This, this, right. this so, is experience. What, what, this is a story. What happened? Here. What, what, what happened? Right. You don't got to name so names. No, nah, name such, them. I know of two such occasions, right? So one year, I'm not gonna lie, my stepfather messed up and got my mom a jewelry box. But if you go in my mom's room. And it was like, but where where was the thought and effort? Right. Mind you, my mom bought him a gaming system that year and a leather jacket. Mm. So it's like you just brought a jewelry box and that's it. Just to add to the collection. Mm. Now, if you um, if you know the person that you're with, it it kind of it's insulting. It doesn't matter if it's like if it's cheap. It matters that the thing wasn't. Something that they you put some thought into. Right. Let me ask you this then. Yeah. Are you guys the types to get competitive with y'all gift giving? Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I've, y'all keep, I've, y'all I've, keep I've, score. I've, 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 not not keeping score, but I, I've I've dated to where it's like, all right, you gonna give me these fly shoes? I'm gonna get you these flyer shoes. Right. You gonna give me? You know, That's say this cologne? I'm gonna get you that Dior. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? Like, but you know, at the end of the day, like it, it was at a point where. Financially, she's good. It's not, you know, she's not breaking the bank to do it. I'm not breaking the bank to do it. So, you know, if, if she would have got me some that wasn't expensive, I wouldn't have been mad. I wouldn't have been upset. I mean, even thought process. It doesn't got to be like like you guys are comparing prices, but like say, you know, you're 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 big into like Tim's, right? Definitely. So so say 
not only did she get you a pair of Tim's, but she realized that the Tim's in your closet, they all over the place. So she made sure she got she got like a rack, a shoe rack for your Tim's or some shit okay. like that, right? That's tough. Like, right? With some shoe trees, make sure your, your yutters tough. is all nice, right? right. Like, L, I, you got all like right. a bad attitude, so maybe they got you some etiquette classes or something. And like... You know, you just felt like you had to reciprocate. Yeah, I said, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. For real though, like maybe they did something very thoughtful, right? And do you now feel like y'all gotta up the ante, like beyond price? I'm talking effort wise. Yes, but I think that should that should be before you even see their gift. You should try to do something that would mean something no, to but them. Like, I, I okay. see what he's saying. Like let's say. Let's say the person got you something that you weren't necessarily expecting, expecting. to get. Mm -hmm. And I got something that was simple, right. simpler, because I wasn't really thinking. I thought we were just doing a, you know, a small thing. Hell yeah, I'm going to run my ass back. Right. Out I don't care because you. I'm like, shit, that was so beautiful. I feel, but that's, that's reciprocity. That's the kind okay. of thing that, you know, like even, even in general, yeah. it's, it's actually like a psychological thing. Yeah, where, yeah, yeah, Where when yeah. people are like generous to you, you feel the need to, to be give back. just as generous back. Okay. Because it's just but, a feeling but, ingrained in us. But I feel like it, it shouldn't be a thing to where you go get, you know, Walgreens gift and then you see that they got you something thoughtful and they, like you should get a gift that you think would mean something to them. Yeah, no, you know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be a, a completely competitive right. thing. But I will say I definitely see that there where I feel like, oh shit, they did that for me. Holds up, daddy. Let me go. Mm, Let me go do something. You gotta step extra, up and do something you know, a little bit. Because yeah. you just went all out for me. So I, I wanna really show you that I appreciate that. And know that I appreciate you in general. See that that that's very rare nowadays, cause yo, big time. Yeah, I I, I, I mean, don't think as far here, as here's where we'll disagree. Mm -hmm. I don't think that it's rare. I think again, what the issue is, it's the same thing with the polyamory thing, all of that. Is that today in today's world, we're not honest with each other. Not social media is a bitch, man. Social it, media. Is, social is, media is a bitch because we're looking for what people have already established. Yeah, We're not always comparison. seeing what, what's in the background. You know, almost like, um, I think I saw you post it once about success. And the person is up top, but what they're not seeing is all of the, the steps that the, it took. The mm -hmm. fucked up tiers and levels before that. And it's like, right, they, there's work to get to Behind the scenes. who these people are today. It's not just like they're thrown together. And then we also have these couples who really look good on social media. Yo, but and that's just behind terrible the, behind, yeah, the behind the scenes. Especially now, like... They are ready to yo, each other. Like, you Almost hear like all the exposing. Mm -hmm. Continue. <laughs> on camera. <laughs> right. Word. All right, you, yo, y'all heard that? If I come up missing, bro, just, you know, eat, investigate. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <sighs> Make it look like I had to look like <laughs> <Yeah>. Anyway, <laughs> based on reciprocity, before I reciprocate that energy and get in trouble, you know, I'm just saying that it's a good sign, right? It's great that anybody has the moment to take in whatever gift that their, you know, person gave them and they're like, yo, I need to do more because that was amazing. Now, e, you kind of brought up a point earlier about budgets, right? Like, you know, she brings you that, that maybe that nice Gucci, so now you feel like you got to give it a Dior, right? How do y'all feel about budgets on first dates? I feel like, like that, that we, we talked about the long-term relationships. I know maybe some of y'all are celebrating y'all first Valentine's Day. Beautiful for y'all. Much blessings to you. But what about those of y'all who are just getting into y'all first date scenarios? What's what's the what's the budget there? Is there a budget? Are there guidelines? Who should pay? All right, I go into it knowing and believing that I will go Dutch. We will be splitting this bill, but in the same token, I also do have this thing in my mind where it feels like if you asked me on a date, mm -hmm. then you want to take me out. Whereas I've, there's been a time where I've asked a guy on a date and I fully have had really? in my pocket okay. ready, like, all right, we going, and it's true, I, there was a guy that I really was interested in that was vegan, and I found this really nice vegan restaurant downtown, mm -hmm. and I was like, 
you want to go out? And I full on was ready, even though, you know, most of the time, you know that somebody like, especially when it comes to the female male dynamics, you know, usually a guy isn't like waiting for you to pay for him. Right. But at the same time, because I was the one who did the asking, I full you on felt expected like, so, that, yeah, that that person might think that I'm paying for it. You know, I'm sorry. Yo, y'all in the comments, like before we really get into this. I want to see if other ladies have that same mentality. It's because the man asked that he's going to pay. And thus, if you ask, you're ready to pay. I ain't looking for no handouts to say no.